So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download the Google Chrome Canary version. And this is the website here where you can download it. This is the link. I will leave a link under the video description below. And this is built for developers, but you can use it. And it gives you a list. It's updated nightly. It tests cutting edge web platform APIs, develop websites for the next version of the web. So to download it, you just need to click here and download it. So it's an exe file and you just have to install it. It's going to look like this. It looks like a, just a yellow orange icon and it will say Google Chrome Canary. So this is the regular Google Chrome browser. So this is the Canary version and it has all the similar toolbars. There's Gmail, there's the apps section, there's settings. So this is the version, the Google Chrome Canary version, and this is the version number. So this is the Microsoft Edge Canary version. So there are three options where you can download. This is the Canary channel. And it says it's updated daily. This is the dev channel. This is updated weekly. And this is the beta channel, which is updated monthly. And they are both for Windows 11 or 10. So I'm going to download this one, Canary channel, which is updated daily. So all you have to do is just click on the download. Accept and download. And it's downloaded here. I'm going to open and install it and it's installing so it's installed and it's here so i'm just going to create a shortcut to the desktop and just right click i'll open the file location and i'm just going to drag a copy here i'm just going to copy it so this is the icon this is how it will look i'm going to open it so there are some new features in the Microsoft Edge Canary version browser. There's a split screen here. For example, I'll go to Wikipedia. I'll click on the split screen icon. So I can open up another website here and I'm going to type apple.com. So that's how the split screen work in the Canary version of Microsoft Edge. So I hope this video was helpful to you. I thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.